President of the Republic of Uganda, General Yoweli Kaguta Museveni, yesterday met a group of investors from the United Arab Emirates in Abu Dhabi. The president arrived in the Middle Eastern country on Sunday at the invitation of his UAE counterpart and ruler of Abu Dhabi, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nyahna, for a working visit. While meeting a delegation of investors led by His Excellency Rashid Abdul Kalim Ali Boshi, the Under Secretary of the Abu Dhabi Department of Economic Development, President Yim Seven implored them to interest themselves in the area of local production of pharmaceutical products in Uganda. He said, we have important things here in Uganda that we are not using. For example, we produce a lot of sugar, but only use it for tea to drink. We also have a lot of starch from cassava and maize. These products have not been fully utilized yet. They can be used for pharmaceutical purposes, President Yim Seven said. He added many of these tablets are not all medicine, but part of the tablet is just a career to take the medicine into your stomach. To make the tablet, you need a special starch from a pharmaceutical graded starch which we can make from maize or cassava. The president therefore appealed to the investors to locally partner with the Ugandan government in reducing the immense amount of starch from the various crops by putting it into good use of producing pharmaceutical drugs. He further expounded that refining raw sugar into pharmaceutical grade sugar is a huge potential area for investors to explore in Uganda, explaining that the country is enriched with a lot of sugar which could be used for different types of syrups. President Tim Seveni also mentioned that Uganda is blessed with a variety of minerals thus encouraging the investors to consider the country's lucrative industrial venture, saying that the government is ready to work with them. There is iron ore for steel, phosphate for fertilizers. We have copper for electric military industries, gold and lithium for electric batteries. We are already making electric cars, so we need those batteries and many others. You are therefore welcome to tap into these areas locally, President said. The big ones here though are iron, ore and phosphates. Iron ore is like 800 million tons, while the confirmed phosphates are 230 million tons. So the only thing we are struggling with now is for us to be able to link the industry and the minerals. His Excellency Abd Kalim thanked the president for informing him about the different potential areas for investment and economic cooperation between the two countries, saying that they are ready to work together for a better future. We are talking about manufacturing cars here. And so when it comes to batteries, we believe that it will be the next big potential market area. So why not consider Uganda, Abd Kalim said. Speaking to another group of investors led by Mr. Seifi Rupawara, the chief executive officer of Lulu Group International, the president held the investors for exporting Ugandan products on a global market. Thank you for reaching the bigger market of the world with our good natural products. I will make sure you get the 10 acres of land that you need for the construction of the food processing and logistics centers, he promised the group. Mr. Lopawara informed the President Yimu Seven that the company requires a piece of land near the airport for easy transportation of fresh fruits and foods from within Uganda to another countries for sale. 
The group CEO added Uganda is blessed with natural fruits and fruits that are of high quality and they do not have any chemicals. Your Excellency, we are therefore proud to export these products and promote them even further. President Museveni also met other investors including Dr. Abdul Abdramonem Armazoi, the chief executive officer and member of the board of Elite Agro, His Excellency Dr. Sultan Al Jabra, the Minister of Industry and Advanced Technology of the United Arab Emirates, and the Managing Director and his Group CEO Abdu Abdabi National Oil Company. Brigadier Said Rahim Kav. Kalfan, the group chairman of SSK Technologies International, and Prince Shahel Al Taki, the CEO and managing director of Lowered International Commercial LLC. The delegates, together with the president, discussed investment opportunities and possible areas of economic cooperation between Uganda and the UAE. President Museveni welcomed the investors to Uganda and assured them of a ready market for their goods and services with a conductive business atmosphere. The meeting was also attended by the Minister of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Honorable Matia Kasaija, the Attorney General, Honorable Chirowa Chiwanuka, the Minister of State for Foreign Affairs, Honorable Henry Okero Oriem, His Excellency Zake Kibedi, Ambassador of the Republic of Uganda to the United Arab Emirates, and the Director General of External Security Organizations, ISO, Ambassador Joseph Otwet. Life changes just open the door, but one thing's certain, I'll always be yeah. yours. 